you guys. Hello, Madeline. Hi, Kelly. Okay, so let's see here. I have my old tripod because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just setting up right now. And I realized that I don't, uh, I don't like this view. I'm also in sweats. So I guess you can see that. Let me try to bring it up a little bit more. Well, until I'm all set up, this should be okay. Hi, Victoria. How are you? So, um, I was just getting set up, like I said, and I realized, oh, I don't really have like a coffee maker and I don't have instant coffee, which is what I like to use. There's a fuzz flying around. Um, so I'm going to use tea and a couple cups of coffee, which will be fine. Whoa, all of a sudden there's many of you. So I'm just setting up, you can't see my counter yet. I'll, I'll change that in a minute. I have this um, plastic that I like to use when I'm dyeing anything or like spraying. So I'm gonna set that down on my counter here and bring all of my papers over here. And I was gonna try to figure out the best set up before I came on, but I was anxious just to get on here with you guys, so. Um, these came in the mail yesterday. They are mushroom playing cards that I'm going to use for February, wait, or January, February, what month are we in? That's so funny, I really can't remember. I love all your journals, thank you, and hello. Uh, what? January. We're at the end of January, right? Oh my gosh. What in the world? I'm kind of tired today. And I didn't go to bed that late. But I think I slept too much or something. Oh. oh. It is the end of January. That was so funny. That for me. Oh geez, that was loud. Um, I'm using a pan like this. I'm also gonna turn my oven on because I do plan to bake some of these papers. And I do 375, but you do what you're safe, safe with. I'm gonna be watching them closely. Yeah, okay, you're right. <laughs> February you said would be mushroom themed. Yes, okay. Hi Pam, how are you guys? So I have this big jug of water here that has some tea bags in it. I'm gonna put that in here, like halfway. And then I'm going to put coffee and I'm going to put some old, some not old, but it's like a dye. It's like a Tim Holtz dye. Okay, we're just doing a mixture here. Mix, mixing it up. gonna put the coffee in. I want it to be pretty dark, so. I'll let you see what I'm doing in a sec too, but I, you know, I wanna read the comments. I wish there was a way to get you to see what I'm doing and see me. Yeah, the cards are cute. Well, I haven't actually looked through them yet, so. Maybe I'm just gonna have to bring it over. This tripod's just so loud, um, so I apologize for that. Yeah, I might have to do this, that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna open up this die and just put some in. It's kind of shimmery. Now, do I wanna destroy my hands or do I wanna wear gloves? Good question. I have papers and I just have printer paper and some music book paper and just other various papers. I'm gonna get some paper towels. Oh, my oven is, it's a gas oven and it just always, to me it always smells like it's a, like I can smell the gas, I don't know. Okay, let me find paper towels. 
towels, got some here. Um, if you're just hopping on, just bear with me for a minute. I think I'm going to turn you guys around a different way so that you'll see what I'm doing, but then I can see the camera, if that makes sense, so I can read the comments, but I'm going to put some music on in the background just a little bit here, quietly. Actually, move you guys a different, a different way. <gasps> Hello. I'm gonna try to put you down like this. I think. Now you can really see the whole area, and now I can see the comments much better. Yeah. Okay. So. Hi, Cindy, how are you? And my kitchen doesn't have room on my counters, but you manage. Yeah, I didn't used to have room. I would use a I would use a table and then, yeah, like I would use just like whatever I could. And it was, it was definitely a little more challenging, but I'm so glad that you've been binge watching my channel. So many of you have, um, been coming back and it's so fun but I think I'm just gonna get started there's not much to this I mean many of you have seen this but I know a couple of you yesterday said you would like to see the process um, because I know that sometimes even if you know how to do something it you it helps to see someone else do it to actually inspire you to do it to feel like you're doing it right and just to maybe you learn like some different techniques as well and I will actually grab in a little bit I'll grab my um, stencils because that's how I get like a lacy kind of look oh actually I wonder I have some lace oh my gosh yeah I might need to find those okay so I like to dip it once and then I like to fold it in half um, it's easier to do I guess kind of right this isn't gonna be that dark, I'm noticing, so maybe I'm gonna add some more ink, because I do want these to be somewhat grungy. Do you get streaks in yours? I thought it was a mistake, but I kinda like, uh, kinda like, looking forward to the stencil bit of it too, okay. Um, yes, so here I'll read some of these comments before my hands get too icky. Um, mine do definitely get streaks. I mean, they look different every single time, so. I just go with it. They're not supposed to look perfect. Definitely not. Um, yeah. Do you like oven drying better than outside air drying? I actually prefer outside drying. The sun does something to it and it makes it so much better, but it's cold here. So I can't do that now. I, so that's my preferred method if I do it in the summer. Um, second, I like the look of just having them air dry, but I don't, have time and patience to have them stay out on my counter so i usually do the oven it's not that big of a difference with all of those methods in my experience but yeah you, um oh you missed the start so this is a mix i would normally use instant coffee i don't have it and i'm a big uh, uh, I, I like to just use what we have so i'm using tea and some brewed coffee and it's not very dark but we're just gonna have to go with it because that's what i've got Plastic placemats and cooling racks make cool designs too. Yes, good idea. I have plastic placemats and that's what I was going to grab. Let me see if I actually have some drying racks. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I have not very many, but that would be nice if I had more. Um, okay, just one more minute. 
You do instant coffee in a spray bottle. That's awesome too. That's a great idea. I put my paper down on a shower curtain. Oh, also a good idea. So you guys have such great ideas. Okay, so I think I can go ahead and just get started. I'll get the stencils out soon, but so anyways, I'm gonna dip these, fold them in half. I like to fold them in half. That's just my thing. It takes up less space. I'm also gonna get a, um, what is it? <laughs> I'm also gonna get like a pan that I reuse and that way I can put them in the oven, but I'll just make some first. Bring this up a little bit so you can actually see the whole, I think you can see all that. I just like to have paper towel because it uh, just kind of keeps, it takes some of the excess off, but then also it uh, helps so that it doesn't get all over my floors. I'm just gonna stack them. Can you see me stacking? Yep, I stack them like almost on top of each other. So that's really all there is to it. And then we'll go over drying and we'll go over putting them in the oven and all of that. I have my oven set at 375 if you missed that. Um, I would do, if, if this is your first time, I would do a lower setting just to make sure you know how your oven works and make sure that you're paying attention. You don't wanna, you know, start a fire or anything. So once you get going, it goes pretty fast. I just dunk it in once. I'm using copy paper right now. And then I have also some music paper and book pages and things like that. So how's your guys' Saturday going? Um, I, what was I gonna say? I finished all, almost all of the, <laughs> journal covers that I am going to be working on. So now it's strictly just working on book pages and filming, filming the other stuff. I'm kind of having a hard time like waking up today and it's noon. I usually get started much sooner than this, but. Okay, question. What's a good glue to use to put fabric onto paper? I prefer Tombow Mono Aqua Glue, but everyone has their own preferences. That's just what I like. Tombow Mono Aqua. Okay. I'm gonna grab my pan. See, I didn't really grab everything that I needed. So I'm gonna go grab a pan and some stencils and hopefully the plastic placemats if I can find them. Now, I wish I could find the link for the plastic placemats because I really like these ones, but I think, Madeline, if you're in here, I think one time you bought these and yours were different and you used the same link I had. So I don't know what that's all about. Hi, from Melbourne, Australia. I'm glad that you caught me live. Yes, I have a dog. And so, you know, I'm just out in the open in the kitchen here. So he's, he won't be barking the whole time. I just shut the door though. Okay, so I have, I just used this pan and I'm just gonna, just so you guys can see some of the final results, you know, I'm gonna start putting some of these in the oven. 
I do usually just put them in like this, but I'm going to spread them out a little bit more. And then I'll put this batch in the oven. And this is just, you know, plain coffee dyed. Just going to put them in just like that. And I have to move you guys a little bit. Jeez, sorry. That's hard to... So for the plastic placemats, I do not put these, wait, have I put, I think I have put these in the oven, but I think it's better not to. I really can't remember. Oh, I, I haven't used these in a while, so question, do any of these work because I only have fabric fuse and tacky glue original with the gold container. I also have a clear, blue. um, yeah, I would think so. I think any... Oh, Gina, this is your favorite channel, that, or your new favorite channel. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I think it, any of those glues are going to work, but... Hi, Jen. How are you? And hi, Danielle. I have done gel printing. It was never really my thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I tried it for a while. Art journaling is fun, but I don't get that much out of it. So I don't, since I don't have like a ton of extra time, it's just, I just don't spend much time doing it. Um, I want this to be darker, so I'm going to put some more of this ink spray in. And I'm just going to go like that. That's going to be dark. I'm also putting a little water in this so that I can use the excess to spray onto the papers. So I have one of those placemats down on the bottom. And yeah, that, that ink is a little, uh, has like a red tone to it. So you can see that. I'm just going to fold them in half, but you could do full papers. You're just not going to be able to put too many down. I'm gonna keep doing this, just dipping, folding, and stacking. And so you'll see how the way that I'm stacking these, like you're not gonna get the full design on these papers, but that's okay with me. I don't I kinda like having just a little bit of a design on part of the paper. And especially since I'm making so many papers, I'm not gonna have time to dry each one flat on one of these. But of course, if you're doing a smaller batch, you can. You're new and you're doing your fifth junk journal, but still don't know which glue to use. Yeah, well, you know, I think it takes some time to kind of figure out what you like and what works, but I, as far as uh, gluing paper to fabric or fabric to paper, I, I really think that any glue, I, I can't imagine any glues not really working. I don't know. Hey Carol, how are you? Glad you made it. We'll use some of the stencils I have in a minute too. Um, so I'm gonna stack just a little bit more so I'm taking up that whole placemat. But you can use these placemats also as like a stencil so I'll show you that as well. You can spray ink just over the top of it. It's gonna go like that, so. When I'm coffee dyeing, I'm not ever really looking for like a very specific outcome. Oh, I just ripped that paper, but that's okay. We'll still be able to use it. Um, I just kind of, yeah, I, I just go with it and however they turn out, is how I'm going to be happy about it. You do have to be a little careful with copy paper sometimes. It'll be a little um, fragile when it's wet, but once it dries, it's pretty good. Okay. Then, 
usually, I have a couple of these, but sometimes you, put, you can put one on top and then you could just start stacking them if you want, or like I said, you could, I think, you know, this, this ink is not spraying well enough. If it sprayed well, we could spray and do it like a stencil. I'm checking on the paper real quick. You'll see how the paper comes out a little bit darker than what it looks like on here. Yeah, these spray bottles are old, so... Might not get a good spray, but... Well, you get the point, I would spray these. <laughs> Yeah, that's not really, I mean, I don't think you can see that, so we'll just leave that on. So, this is pretty much it. We can use some stencils here. The only thing is, is my inks are not working very well, but... So with the stencils, I mean, you can put the, place the stencil down, can you see that? And spray over the top of it with either spray or a, um, a darker coffee solution. Um, and then you can use this and just, like I said, I'm not ever going for a very specific look. I think I have old ink on this one so you can see that some blue um, got on it. And maybe I'll grab my inks also, my colored inks, because that's fun. And yeah, my hands are getting pretty gross, so I don't see all the comments right now, but I will catch up in a minute. And my phone is fully charged, so <laughs> if you've been watching my lives, you know that every so often my phone, um, freezes because my phone's dying. That shouldn't happen today. But we'll see. I think my phone just dies really quick when I'm doing lives, honestly. I'm gonna put some of these over here. Um, I do have actually another pan, so I could. I have a lot of stencils here too. But... Could start putting some on this pan. I'll do that next. So I know a lot of people that just um, keep their paper flat, and that's fine too. I'm, this is just how I like to do it. I don't know why it's how I've always done it. It works for me. I feel like I can get a lot more going this way. And I like how they dry, I guess. Oops. But when I just peeked in the oven, I think this will be a good uh, color. I thought it was going to be too light, but it looks pretty good, so we'll look at those when they're dry. Okay, I'm going to peek again because I want to make sure that, um, so I do flip them halfway through, so I'm going to do that really quick. I know you can't see it, but I'm just simply flipping them over. Music's not too loud. So I didn't see these around there. <laughs> okay, so guys, if you're in here and you are liking this live, if you like hanging out with me, please give the video a thumbs up. 
because there's lots of you in here and I would love for you to kind of help my channel out a bit. It's been growing at such a faster rate than it normally does and I think that's because so many of you have been showing up, coming back all the time <laughs> and I really appreciate it. Awesome, I see some more thumbs up. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. It's seriously been so fun doing these lives with you guys and hanging out. But, I think we need some different music. I haven't got, I've, sometimes I have a little bit of music in the background and I haven't got any copyright strikes, so I hope. I think it's quiet enough. <laughs> Okay, um, off topic question, but I figure why not ask, yeah. What are your favorite printers for printing? Oh, that's a good. Um, I like my printer. It's, uh, I would have to almost go look. I have a review of it on my channel. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. I really like it. I like it too because it was inexpensive and it's small and I like it for scanning and stuff like that. So yeah. So that didn't help you out, but I'm sure some of the ladies in here will, ladies or gentlemen, will have some ideas. I'm just gonna start. Okay, I'm gonna put this whole thing in. I could fit more on, but it'll dry quicker if I don't stack too many. The first batch is almost dry. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's dry. Okay. Let's see here. Trying not to burn my hands is usually a good thing. Yes, and I do have a subscription for ink. You're right. I love, love that part of it. Now, I like to dry it. So after I have these in the oven, um, I like to lay them flat with like a heavy book. But anyways, you can see even just from the pan, you'll get different designs. So... In case, in case you're new to coffee dyeing, I'll just show you what I get. And see, when you fold them, you I always have that line in the middle. I like that. I don't know. I just like the... I like how everyone's different. <laughs> These are still actually a little wet, but I'll put them back in. What? Sometimes I'll do this. I'll take them out, fold, unfold them, and then place them back in for another minute. And I think it helps them flatten up. Some people really like the crispy or uh, the wrinkly... Look, I know you can't see it. It's just all about preference, you know? Just, you gotta kind of play around with it to figure out what you like. Oh, very cool. This is my first time seeing this. Oh, Kim, well, good. I'm so glad. See, sometimes I assume that, like, certain projects, I just assume, oh, everyone already knows how to do that. And so I won't show it a lot on my channel because maybe I've already done a hundred videos on it, but I do 
try to remind myself that there's always new people coming on the channel or people who haven't seen a certain thing. So I think it's nice to kind of revisit these projects because also I change my techniques up as I go along too. So yeah. Just was reading a text, sorry. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna put this back in now just so it can finish up drying. Ow. And I'm just gonna keep going, basically. Sandra, how are you? I might in a little bit get my colored inks out and maybe I'll do some stencils, but I'm just kind of feeling the uh, simple version of coffee dyed paper for today. I've never seen your channel on live. Well, I'm glad you're here. I, I don't always go live on the weekends, so I, I have been going live during the week quite a bit, so glad you're here. I have, so if you're just hopping on, I have a batch of coffee dyed paper in the oven right now. I have my oven set at 375. I'm just checking it occasionally. Yeah, so today I'm just going to finish this project up and then I'm gonna go back to filming, um, not a live, but just filming an actual video, finally, of mass making uh, journal pages. I'm still, so I already started filming this and I really don't like how I started it out. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. It's just kind of hard because a lot of the steps of mass making things are really tedious. I mean, it's, I'm repeating the same steps over and over. So it's hard to know how much of that do I show on camera or how much do I, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to know, to be quite honest, because I want it to be interesting, not boring, but at the same time, I want you to have a realistic idea of how much time and everything goes into all of that. So I'm gonna take one of these plastic placemats and just put it on top of this batch of coffee dyed paper over here. And I'm gonna start stacking some more on here. And then I'm also gonna grab, I dyed some paper this morning. Oh fun, what did you use, coffee or something else? I'm gonna grab this batch out now. I think it's done. Oops. Oh! <laughs> I have limited space here. Okay, smash that thumbs up for our girl. Thanks, Madeline. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna flip these ones over. They're still very wet. But I like the design that you get. It's a little hard to see. Maybe you can see that. I like the design you get from the bottom of the pan. too long just because I'm just repeating the same thing over and over but there's so many of you in here so I mean if you guys want to keep hanging out I'm down so now that these are completely dry like I said I'm gonna place them somewhere else like on a table and have a really heavy book on top of them so you can't see that right now but that's what we're gonna do put my books 
I might grab some book pages too, just to change it up. Um, let's see, Cassandra says, I don't know of food coloring is a mistake, but I wanted green, so I tried it. I think that's a great idea. I think I know a lot of people use food coloring. Coffee mixed with some green food coloring. Oh, sorry, I just read that. That was a cool idea, yeah. Um, Janice, you're asking how many do I do at a time? Um, well, I have a stack of like 200 uh, pages of copy paper, and I'm hoping to do all of that today if that's what you are, I think that's what you're asking. Uh, it's, it really just depends. It depends on the day and the time and all that. Place that over there. I'm gonna grab some book pages out of this. Um, yeah, it's a lot, but I'm working on 20 journals, so. Um, Carol, I asked that I ordered the one though. Oh, cool. I'm talking about, to... yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> but, I need a lot of paper. It goes pretty quick. Like, not right now, because I'm talking to you guys and I'm not going as fast as I would be going. I'm going to grab, or I'm going to get some of these book pages out from Edith Holden, and they're going in there, but that's okay. I mean, it'll take me a while, but... And I might not even get it all done right now, because I don't have much more coffee, so... Yeah. out of this. Okay. Might as well just dip these in here since they're already getting. The Edith Holden book pages already have a really nice color, but I find that coffee dyeing even changes the texture of the paper. And it will make it a little bit darker but not probably not necessary to coffee dye these book pages but why not I have them they'll be nice in the journals they'll go with all of the themes and this page got pretty ripped but it's okay because I can coffee dye it and still use it for collaging or whatever you know yeah, it's starting to get pretty messy over here Okay, I'm gonna go back to checking the pages. Those are good. Yeah, when you're doing this many, um, you just gotta have a clear mind. <laughs> Not to leave anything in the oven, but also just keep going. I'm gonna get some more. Oh my gosh, I never thought about dyeing the yellow pages. Yeah, might as well try it. I'm putting, this is tea. In fact, I might as well just put it all in. Oh my gosh, that got everywhere. Like on my floor. Whoops. That's okay. Let me just clean that up real quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep, I'm putting a little bit of ink too. turn this music down. I'm a little afraid it's too loud for copyright. I want to hear it, but okay. Oops, I missed that comment. Let's see. This is the first time I've caught you live. Hi, Connie. How are you? I'm so glad that you were able to jump in and catch me live. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're excited to catch me live. <laughs> so if you are just hopping on, then I have a mixture of tea and coffee and ink in here. 
And I'm just dipping copy paper. It's pretty thin. I just dip it. I, I like to dry mine folded like that. And I'm putting them on a pan that I'm putting into the oven. So I know if you've been here this whole time, then you just get to hear me repeat myself the whole time. But this is, I'm doing a pretty good job at not getting it all over my floor. At some point, it usually always starts to drip onto the floor. What are you making the paper for? I And hi, Renee. I, oh, your comment went away, so I think that was Renee. I am making these, uh, I'm making these for a collection of journals I'm working on right now. So, and I need to grab the batch out of the oven, I think, right now. So let me do this one. I think these are all dry. Let's see. Nice and crinkly. Let's see. I'm glad that there's so many newbies. It's fun to have you guys. These are cool. These are turning out good. The lighting's not the best in my kitchen, so. Now I'm gonna take this. I love the crinkly sounds too. Uh, now I'm gonna take this and just go put them in the stack um, underneath the books I have. now put it in the oven um how long do you leave them in the oven let's find out i haven't been timing it i just look at them so we'll we'll i'll check this time when i put this batch in yes these aluminum baking sheets are really great for um doing art projects on because i reuse them and use them for all kinds of things um Hi, I have been lurking and learning it for a few weeks. Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad to hear that. And I'm glad that you're lurking amongst my videos. Okay, so, hi Veronica. Oh, so many of you are like first time live streamers with me, that's great. I'm putting a batch of coffee dyed paper in the oven right now in case you just hopped on. And I'm gonna see how long it takes for these to dry. And how many pieces are on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, only seven. It it dries much quicker the you know, the less that you have on there. So you can imagine if I'm trying to do 200 pages. It does take some time, but actually it sounds like it would take so much more time. My hands are already starting to get dry and I don't like that. Okay, so on my clock it says 109. So if someone can help me remember 109. We'll see how long it takes to dry those. And I have my oven at 375. Everyone's oven, you know, is different though. So I'm gonna try to stack a little bit more onto this coffee thing. Coffee filters work great. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna go back to doing this batch here so I can't see the comments. I'm gonna do it a little quicker this time. I have stacked way more in the oven and that's fine. They do eventually dry, but it seems like there's a lot more of needing to like flip them over and check out, checking on them. So just depends. Maybe I will grab my um, inks in a minute 
and you can do a little bit of spraying with the stencils. And I do want most of these to be just kind of coffee dyed. I'm gonna go grab some different ink really quick. I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna spray right onto this batch right here. I think you guys can see that. And I can use a stencil. I think I might use this placemat. And obviously I have these stacked, so this design is just gonna get on a little piece of, you know, the paper, but that's okay. I, I sort of like that look. And I am using the Distress Oxide Spray and Spice Marmalade. I like the chalky kind of look that it gives. I think this one actually sprays good still. Then, now that I have ink on this, I can even just take this and place it down. You're gonna get better impressions when these aren't so wet. So normally, if you want a really precise, detailed look, then I would take a paper towel first and kind of get up any extra um, liquid, but I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now, check on the other batch that's already in here. doing good but it's gonna need quite a bit more time it's only been in there for like four minutes so I'm just stacking these right on top of the last one I don't do too many stacks because I do think that with my experience, if I stack them too much, sometimes they do start to dry and stick together. And then they will tear. And yeah, then it just gets really annoying. So I only try to do a couple, like maybe three, three stacks, if that makes sense. Yeah. cut out for me today so I think I'm yeah I'm probably just gonna finish the last batch that's in the oven and then go from there Now I'm actually going to check because I might need to flip that. I should have wore gloves. My hands are starting to feel really gross. I have my oven mitt thing, whatever this is. Okay. This is the batch that was put in at 109. So it's been there for six minutes, but I'm going to flip it over. Flip it and reverse it. <laughs> Put it back in. Get 
guessing, I bet they dry for like 15 minutes. I think that's about right. It's probably different if you don't fold them like I do, but again, I just like, that's just how I like to do it. Do you guys have any plans this weekend? Let's see, to, for me today, working, yeah, mostly working. Tomorrow's tattoo day for me. And then I get my kids back tomorrow. So normally they would be gone on Sunday night too, but I'll have them back tomorrow. So pretty good, pretty good weekend. Let's see, I'm going to visit with my son and his girlfriend tomorrow. Fun, Sandra. That should be a good time. Right, let's see where, where we are at. I find that once I flip them over, this side usually goes a little quicker. Your rubber stamping on music paper. That's fun. That's a good idea. Okay, these are almost dry now, so our weather here is nasty all weekend. Oh, oh these are a little wet still. So I'm, I'm just gonna flatten them and dry them the rest of the way. Did you ever tell us that? No, Diane, I didn't tell you what the tattoo was. Um, oh yeah, tomorrow's football, huh? I should know that. Sunday football. A good day. Yeah, these are still pretty wet. So maybe they take longer than I thought. Either way, I'm gonna flatten them out. No, I didn't tell you the tattoo, but I will have it tomorrow and you will see. Put this back in here. So, They've been in for 10 minutes, so maybe maybe 15 is accurate. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm running out of space a little bit. Well, just from where I have the camera and everything, so pretty. After this batch, I think I'm gonna let you guys go because I can get it done a lot faster when I have the whole area to work with. And I think I think now you guys kind of get the idea, just in case you were someone who like wasn't too familiar with how this worked. Hopefully, let me know. What do you think? Do you have any other questions? You know, I, I forgot. I brought the ink out and I have my stencils, but I don't know. Like we could do a stencil or so. I'm gonna use, you kind of, <laughs> sorry, Jen, you kind of mumbled how long, you said 14 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking they take about 15 minutes, but these this batch is not completely done, so I'm just guessing that's how long it'll take. <laughs> I'm going to take a stencil here. I know you can't see this whole area too good, but I'm going to take a paper towel also and kind of dry this up. Have you ever used um, the paper part of a book and covered it? Hmm. The paper part of a book. I don't know that I have. Do you mean like the book, um, the... I'm not sure what you're asking. Let's see, Carol. Daughter has a very successful tattoo shop. Oh, that's so cool. She got the store started, or yeah. Whoa, that's Omaha, Nebraska, huh? Well, that's awesome. Do you have tattoos, Carol? Like from her? <laughs> okay, I'm just 
just gonna spray on top of the stencil here. This is a big stencil, so I wouldn't normally use this, but I think folded, this, would, this will look kind of cool. take that stencil and put it upside down on top of some other things. Actually, this looks pretty cool. Let me pull it up. But it's a little wet, so it's probably gonna, um, what am I, it's gonna run a little bit. Also, I'm gonna have to keep that one like completely flat if I wanted to keep the design. But you get the point. If you are not trying to dye 200 pages, oh yeah, I really kind of messed that up then that type of thing is much easier to work with. Okay, so let me grab these out. I believe they would have been done by now. And I'm gonna move up the second batch here. So let's see, we started at 109 and it's 122. So like, yeah, about 15 minutes, not quite. Anyways, these are all dry now, so. Now I'm just gonna go again and place these over, yeah, we're running out of space, <laughs> underneath the book. So I think that's gonna be it. Let's see, now this is a great idea, spraying through the stencil. Back when I had a house, I'd spray through lace. Yeah, la that's another fun one too. Yeah, you can't wait to see the tattoo. Oh, I, you guys have been hearing about it for so long. Do you guys have any ideas? <laughs> I don't know why I'm making you guys wait, but. <laughs> Maybe you said this, but you have to pick the paper so careful not to tear it. That's true. The paper can tear very easily when it's wet, yes. Yeah, so um, that's it guys. Thanks for hanging out. I really gotta get to this a little bit quicker. So I had a fun time hanging out with you guys and um, I hope you guys really have a good weekend. And I don't know if I'll be able to come on live tomorrow because I'll have my kids back. I don't know what time though, so, and tattoo and all that. So I'll see you guys later, okay? Have a good day, bye.